everybody. We're doing some shopping today here at the Antique Marketplace in Lemoyne. As you can see, I found some Valentine stuff right away. I saw that red vase and that popcorn cupid, and I picked both of them up. Went over here to this case. This vendor always has a lot of really nice glassware. So I always check it out to see what we got, what I'm interested in. But there's a lot of really neat stuff in here and it usually goes pretty fast. So this case here, I saw this Easter egg and I thought I gotta have that for my Easter collection. So I picked that up. It was $20 and I think it was 20% off too. So grab that. Look through the rest of this case here to see. I saw this little piece of Fenton Green Crest back here and took a look at that. It was a great price, but I wasn't sure if I had it or not, so I didn't pick it up. So we decided to take a look through the rest of this booth, and the vendor has a really good selection of glassware and pottery, lots of really pretty pieces. Decided to check it all out and see what we, we saw. As you can see, here we go with the uranium glass, very nicely displayed some Pyrex glass bake, a few postcards here, and a lot of just, like I said, kitchenware and glass bake there. This vendor had a great display. I really liked all the Easter stuff and how they had it displayed. It was very be beautifully done. I did like those coffee cups up there, but I did not need any more. But just really nice and springy, especially in February where it's dark and dank. I like this glass here, but I, it was just something that I did not need another one of. But they had some great mix of things with toys and lots of variety of different items in their booth. And they had really good prices on it, too. As you can see, there's some milk glass, some blue and white, a few little knickknacks and salt and pepper shakers. I saw this bunny over here. I, I'm pretty sure I already have it. It was at a good price. These things have really skyrocketed. Gotta give some love to my friend Amanda at Vintique here. This is her booth. She does an amazing job displaying everything. Hi, Amanda, if you're watching. She's got a fantastic eye. She's very boho very eclectic and like I said she's got a great great eye does great displays and her prices are extremely reasonable she does some vintage clothing as you can see she's got some great looks here always has a nice variety of things some sparkle some sweaters coats just a good mix of stuff and she like I said everything is displayed so nicely so wonderful just a nice mix. I always like coming into her booth and looking at what she's got. So if you're right there, make sure you check. If you go to the Antique Marketplace, make sure you check out Vintique and look at their space. We went downstairs and I saw this booth against the wall and thought it had some really interesting looking items. So I was checking everything out to see what I needed. I went over here and I saw this little Valentine's Day basket and of course I grabbed it. It was only $3.99. And then I went back over this way to see about this blue Blanco ashtray. I really was on the fence about it and I ended up leaving it. We are at Northgate now and we are checking out this wonderful display case full of lots of vintage wonderfulness of Christmas. I have been tempted by some of those Santas for weeks and weeks now, but I just didn't pull the trigger on them. This booth always has a nice mix of items at really good prices. As you can see, there's all sorts of treasures to be had. Lots of little figurines. I was interested in this little enamel ashtray, which I thought was really cool. It's a smoking ashtray but I didn't pick it up. But look at all the variety of items here. Like I said, the vendors here really get a good mix of stuff and the prices are fantastic. As you can see, there's all sorts of kitchen corningware. I saw this and thought, oh, I gotta grab it. 
and it was only $12.95, which is a really good price for it. So I picked that up. But just lots of really neat things in this booth. I always seem to find something out of here every time I come come in. So just checking it all out here. I like this head vase. Very nice piece at $49. It's a good price for a collector. There's lots of little snow babies here. Some purses. Now we are in Rick's booth and I came back for the leprechauns. I needed the leprechauns in my life. So Rick gave me a great price on those leprechauns. Always like to see what he has. I saw this little leprechaun guy here and thought he's kind of cute. But he gave me Christmas vibes, so I left him behind. Lots of little bells and accessories and knickknacks. Rick always has a really good variety of things in his booth. Just very, very eclectic. But there's a lot of really nice things in here. As you can see, there's some milk glass. bobbleheads, the pink poodle planner, lots of little figurines. I love some of these figurines in here. Just great, great items. Salt and pepper shakers. Like I said, Rick has a really good eye and he just knows. This is another case that I saw that I was eyeballing. This is one I always look in this booth, they have amazing kitsch. And I just love looking at all the kitsch they have. And I find stuff 99% of the time that I'm here that I need to add to my life. And they have really good prices on stuff for collectors. So they just have a nice mix. There's all sorts of retro items, toys, skateboards, and they have it all nicely displayed. They even have a sale area where you can pick up some bargains. But every time I'm in here, I check it out and see. Big Paw Vintage. Follow them on Instagram and Facebook. They have a really good eye. We're back in one of Rick's booths and I saw this Italian canister. The colors jumped out at me. And I picked it up and looked at it and I thought, yeah, I just need to buy this. It's It's got a good look. I also looked at this this pottery pitcher here. Wasn't as sold as on that, but again, he has all sorts of great stuff in his booths. And it's sometimes grouped together. Like you have a lot of planners in this area here, some bunnies, figurines. I mean, it's just amazing items. Some ceramic trees back there in the background. Some pewter. Rick just makes sure he has a good variety of everything and his prices are really good. And he's always running a sale most of the time on stuff. This booth was running a 40% off sale. So I was like, let me look through here and see what kind of treasures I can find and see what I need and don't need. A lot of glassware. There was somebody right there, so I was trying not to get them on camera. I love this orange and black set. If it had been more towards Halloween, I probably would have picked it up. But again, nice variety of things, and it was all 40% off. Checking this little vase out here with the bird. I thought that was cute. And then I spotted these. So over the course of the last couple of days, I've been to three different places. I went to a private estate, I went to the Antique Marketplace in Lemoyne, and I went to Northgate Antique Mall. Both the antique stores are linked down below in the description in case you want to check them out. 
So, as I mentioned in my vlog video, I had a former coworker who's a friend of mine reach out to me. His dad passed away and his wife was trying to set up the, the house and everything in it for a estate sale. And she is a lovely person. She calls me Auction Andrew. But she reached out to me and said, would you come by and take a look and see if I'm pricing things the right way and, and whatnot? And I said, sure. So it was a very clean house, lots of very useful, clean items. Not a whole lot for me. I picked up a couple shirts for Sarah for the time bomb. I got a t-shirt for myself that was reminiscent of one my grandparents gave me. It was the Fifth Avenue candy bar t-shirt. We had them as kids. My grandparents ate all those candy bars so we could have these t-shirts. And when I saw it, I was like, I gotta have it. it reminds me of my path. So I bought it. The only thing I picked up in terms of vintage, there was a couple little ceramic Christmas trees and a couple little bits and pieces of stuff. I did not want to buy those just because of the fact that I wanted them to have something to draw crowd in. There, there was a lot of useful things, but you know, you got to have a few things vintage to kind of draw the crowd in. So I have more than enough to sell. So I thought we'll just leave them there. If she doesn't sell them, maybe she'll reach out to me and say, Hey, we didn't sell these, but they did have, and for coming out there, they were very nice to give it to me and I'm going to keep it because it's my friend. They did have this beautiful Murano copper green gold black dish, which really will look nice in the living room here. It's got a black bottom. The only thing that I still can't figure out is this area right here. It's where it's very thin and it's where it looks like the glass kind of just ended. I think it's fine. But everything else in the house was really good. So this I really liked. She gave it to me. It's awesome. So it's going to stay with me. So last night I remembered on a whim that the Antique Marketplace in Lemoyne is now open till 7 on Fridays and Saturdays. I used to be a vendor there many years ago. It's changed hands several times since I was a vendor there. And the new owners aren't open on Sundays. We'll just leave it at that. So I thought, I kind of am curious to see. I got nothing going on tonight. It's quiet. Maybe I'll run over there, see if any new vendors moved in, see if anybody's having a sale. There's been a lot of turnover in that mall in the last couple months. I did grab a little bit of footage, as you saw. There was a couple things I did not get on camera just because... One, I wasn't sure what I was going to find and if I wanted to film. And two, one of the things that I bought, the vendor was there and I sat there and talked to them and they were still setting up their stand and everything. So I wanted to give them some time. Didn't want to show them mid box with paper everywhere and everything. So the first thing I picked up there, and this is for my collection is this little Napco St. Patrick's Day Angel. Now, she's been there for a while. I've been eyeballing her. I did pay 20 bucks for her, which is about the going rate without shipping. So I was happy to pay that. Supports a local business. So I picked this up. She's very cute, great shape. She's going to go in my St. Patrick's Day collection. So then I went over to one of the booths that I shop in frequently, and they have some really neat stuff. And they had this popcorn cherub, and it was at a really good price. These things are skyrocketing, and I've seen them anywhere from $20 to $35 recently in the antique malls in terms of just anyone. Christmas, Valentine's, Halloween, Easter, they are getting pricey. So this one was actually at a very good price. I think it was like $12 or something. Very reasonable. I have the heart with the white arrow going through it. So this is going to go right below that on my uh, my metal divider. So 
it was a good price. So I said, I'm going to take advantage of it and, and grab it. I did also buy a ruby red vase that you saw in the footage, which is probably from the 1950s. It was only $3, so I couldn't pass it up. I actually took it up to the shop because I have a shelf with red glass on it. And I put it up there and I think I put like $10 on it or something just, just to fill it in. But uh, it was a good color, right time of year. I actually think it went out the door already. So the vendor that I bought stuff from, they were a new vendor, very nice couple, met them. They had their little dog there. They were unpacking. He had a bunch of stuff that was his mom and dad's that he had packed up in the attic for 20 years. And the one thing that they had was this amazing mid-century candle holder. It's wood with the chrome tops. I didn't see any markings on it. I was looking to see if maybe at the bottom of the candle holders had it, but they don't. But it was a very fair price on it. And I thought it's pretty cool. You can actually take it apart because we were playing with it last night where you can take the pieces apart and kind of build it however you want, s store it away. So I picked it up. We're going to do a little research on this, see if it's a fancy designer, and then maybe pass it along to a new home. But it's in great shape, great design, look great with some loose light candles in it, just saying. I also got this. It's sitting right in front of my face, and I totally messed it. This is a little Easter planner. It's Shenandoah Products. This was about $16. And I just thought it was so cute. I thought it would look great with my Easter planner collection. So I picked it up, little bunny there. It's in fairly good shape. I like the plastic flower arrangement on the top. That's probably been there 50 years, but just a cute little Easter egg for Easter. So that'll be hanging out in the, in the collection. And as I was leaving, I picked up this great hanky for it was a couple dollars. It was on sale, as you can see, very cute. And I actually, when I picked it up, I was like, wait a minute, I have a bunch of Valentine's Day hankies that I was gonna put out with the Valentine's Day stuff. So it totally had that aha moment. I have to go home and, and pull those out of the spare bedroom. And so this morning I put them around and I might take a couple of pictures and uh, insert that with the Valentine's Day footage once uh, I get that video published. So that's what I got at the Antique Marketplace. So I rushed up to Northgate this morning. I gave myself a time limit because I wanted to be out of there. And I think I did pretty good. So of course I had to go and see Rick's booth and I forgot to get the footage when I went to the showcase to pull the stuff out. Again, I forgot this. So he had messaged me and said he put some Easter planners in. And I was like, Easter planners? Rick, what? And he just happened to have one that was on my bucket list. This is the Napco Wear Easter Bunny Planner. The guy is missing his brush. So last year, I wanted to buy one of these for my collection. And I was like, I can't spend $65. Now they're like $100. And Rick gave me a really good price on it because he knows it's going to go in my collection. And he he said to me, it's time for somebody else to hold on to it and treasure it. So thank you, Rick, for my, for my discount on my items I bought today. But look at this. Just adorable. Now I got to get some plastic flowers to throw in the back of him and, and dress him up for Easter. But been on my bucket list. I was excited to see it. So I picked it up. Also, I didn't know that I wanted this, but when I saw it, I couldn't pass this up. Rick had him in his case with a flocked bunny. I think, oh, it's napco wear. Just adorable with the red eyes. Couldn't leave him behind. Again, got a good deal on him. So he's going to live with me. The only thing of Valentine that I saw was this little lady. And again, she was very fair priced. I thought I'll put her somewhere in the Valentine's Day mix. Maybe someday I'll run across a second one. 
you just can't find the Valentine's Day stuff anymore. The last thing, oh no, I shouldn't say the last thing. We're going to switch it up here a little bit. I have to reach because I forgot to put the card over. So in the video, you saw me pick up this amazing Italian canister. This was in Rick's booth downstairs. It's in fantastic shape. The colors are just great on it. It is marked made in Italy, but look at that. Just the blue, the turquoise, the gray. I wanna do a little research on this. I wanna see who made this canister because it's fantastic. I'm just kind of curious. I took a chance on it. Maybe it's worth something. Maybe it's worth what I paid for it, but I just thought it was really, really cool. It's got a great design to it, very mid-century. So I figured we're gonna we're gonna do a little research on this tomorrow and see see what comes of it. So I did also see this. Rick just brought this in, and I'm gonna take it out of the plastic bag that was in because he put it in a bag so that pieces didn't get lost. And I thought it was very cool. So this is a plastic Wilton cake topper. Trying to see if I can get the, look at that face. It's crazy. So I'm assuming there might've been some jelly beans in there, maybe some kind of egg or something rested on there. We're gonna figure him out. We might add him to the Easter stuff just cause he's crazy. He's marked 1979 Wilton, Hong Kong. So he's an older piece. He was only a couple bucks, but I just thought he was cute. And let's see here. Oh, I did get some more St. Patrick's Day. So I was watching Mother Tucker and the Valentino guys. I saw they had these guys. And I couldn't remember if they had two or three, but I was eyeballing them. I missed them, of course. And I went into Rick's booth, and I had seen these before, kind of put them at the back of my mind. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'll pick them up sometime. And there they were, front and center. He had moved them up to the front. They're Lefton. They're little leprechauns. Again, he gave me a really good price on them because he knows I'm going to love them and put them in my holiday decor. But I, I just thought they were really cool. So I walked around and looked at stuff, and I sh you'll see in the footage, this thumbprint... Amberina, it's just the orange is amazing. And it was a really good price. So this is probably gonna go on eBay because I have one of these, but it's just a great design, great colorway, an excellent shape. And like I said, they put a, they had a really good price on it. So we'll stick that on eBay, try to recoup some of this other money that I spent today that I really didn't need to. As I was walking back to put something in, on the counter. The one showcase had this awesome blown glass candy cane. It's got a little damage at the bottom here, but it was only like a couple bucks on sale. So I don't have one of these. And I thought this would look really cool. I have an idea where I want to put it. The striping is really, it's a red, white, blue. So I thought, I know what I want to do with this. I have an idea for Christmas. So that'll come with me. Now, the last thing that I purchased, and well, shouldn't say the last thing I purchased because we're going to talk about some things that came in the store today. Last thing I purchased were these two, I call them, they're LG Wright Sweetheart Goblets. And they're just perfect for Valentine's Day. These I'm going to put up online. And I did something stupid. So you saw me look at them in the video and I looked at the price tag and for some reason I only saw the one price tag and it was, I thought it was $25 for the pair and they were 40% off. They were $25 each and 40% off. So I should be able to make a little bit of money on these, not much. That was my stupidity for running around like a chicken with my head cut off, trying to get some footage and get to the store in time. But look at that, they are, these would be perfect for your Valentine's Day. I'm gonna to try to get these up tomorrow, which will be Sunday the 5th, 4th. No, I'm sorry. Today is the 3rd, tomorrow is the 4th. See how crazy it was today. Um, but I'll get these up 
Hopefully they'll get to somebody by Valentine's Day for that romantic wine dinner that they have. There's two of them. Really cute. So in the midst of this crazy day, if you watch my second vlog video, today was absolutely insane in town. I have not seen that many people. I was not prepared for this. In the midst of everything, somebody at the store told two women that today would be a great day to bring in a carload of vintage clothing and accessories. They also brought a box of vintage linens. So we bought, Sarah bought the clothes, I bought the linens, and I'm gonna try to quickly go through them just to show you what I got. So start off with here, if I speak, 1971 calendar towel. These are very popular. You don't see a lot of the 70s ones anymore. So we'll do, we'll probably put that on eBay. Lots of doilies, miscellaneous pieces. I sell these on lots, in lots of about 50 pieces on eBay. They sell really well. Usually I sell them for about $40 a lot. So I'll put 50 different pieces in and sell them. They go out the door. These really pretty but simple G embroidered pillowcases. So hopefully somebody out there with a G needs some really cute pillowcases with crocheted edges. A lot of aprons. Gotta love these terry cloth aprons from the 70s. This one was never used. You can tell it was just packed away. We got this cute, what's on here, let's see. Tulip, nice little tulip apron, very cute. And all these will be going on eBay because don't need any aprons around here. They sell better online than they do in the store. This one's got little Christmas trees on it. Very cute. And I think a lot of these were handmade. This one looks to be a little bit older, maybe with some feed sack material on it. Let's see, open it up here. But isn't that cute with the little stripes and pleats and everything? So here's a nice, a nice springy one with the baskets of tulips. Very cute. And then we have the sheer one with the pocket on it. Again, they're in fantastic shape. I don't think they were ever used. Uh, let's see. Here's some more doilies, that kind of stuff. This is a fun one. This is a really fun one. Another terry cloth apron, never used, with this crazy quilt pattern on it. Perfect for that mod kitchen. I know that there's people out there who will love that. Here's a terry cloth Christmas one. Now this one does look like it was used. But look at the design on that. Look, there's a dove on there, some ornaments, or excuse me, a partridge. Here's a nice, gray colored linen tablecloth with some matching napkins. Very basic, but you know what? It's, if you have a nice monochromatic table, this would be great on it during a holiday. This I'm very curious about to kind of find out what it is. I think this is just a card tablecloth. And I'm just gonna show you here. It's got the trip on it. If you can see it, very cute little embroidery. So I'm not sure what that was for. If this was just a card tablecloth with a theme, most likely somebody made it. There's another linen. The fun stuff's about to come. This is just a cute little card tablecloth somebody made, great turquoise color. Looks like they just did a stamping on it. That I may put in like a linen lot just because it's nothing super fantastic. But this is what I was really excited about. So this is a Willander tablecloth. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. It looks like it's in fantastic shape. I don't know if it was ever used. With four, one, two, yeah, four matching napkins. 
with, I think it's primrose, if I remember right. But look at that. Look at the colors on that. It's amazing. This one looks like it may have been used, but it has a great color to it. This chartreuse green and the jungle green with the pink flowers. So that'll go, all this will go up on eBay. And the tablecloths sell really well for me. So I'm very excited about it. And then here's another, we see a lot of these in this area. It's like a Pennsylvania Dutch theme with this great blue, royal blue center. This one looks to be in really good shape. As you can see, there's that side and there's another side, but great colors. The camera's just not doing it justice tonight. So that is what I ended up buying this weekend. I hope you enjoy the whole video. When I have some more time, and I'm not running around. I really want to get into more detailed shop with me, is showing you more of Northgate, more of Bedford Street, more of other places. So stay tuned for that. If you're not subscribed and you're watching this video, hit that subscribe button. We need to keep on going with that. We are getting close to 500. I want to break that 500. I challenge you to subscribe so we can get to that 500. Once we get to 500, I may do something, maybe a little giveaway on something. So make sure you subscribe. I might figure out how to get, might talk to one of my YouTube friends and figure out how to get a list of all my subscribers so I can put their names in and then maybe mail you something. So if we get to 500, I will do a little giveaway of something. I'm giving you my word. So make sure you subscribe. If you like anything you see here, Check my eBay store, links down in the description. If you don't see it there, send me a message and we'll check on it to make sure I can get it up for you. If I was gonna keep it, I mentioned I was gonna keep it. So it's, it's gonna stay with me for the time being, but thank you for tuning in and watching. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. And we'll see you on the next one.